China started building its third aircraft carrier with a high-tech launch system at a Shanghai shipyard last year, according to sources close to the People's Liberation Army. One of the sources said Shanghai Jiangnan Shipyard Group was given the go-ahead to begin work on the vessel after military leaders met in Beijing in March last year. But the shipyard is still working on the carrier's hull, which is expected to take about two years, the source said. Building the new carrier will be more complicated and challenging than the other two aircraft carriers. The sources all said it was too early to say when the third vessel would be launched, but China plans to have four aircraft carrier battle groups in service by 2030, according to naval experts. Shipbuilders and technicians from Shanghai and Darlene are working on the third vessel, which will have a displacement of about 80,000 tons to 10,000 tons, more than the other AC Liaoning, according to another source close to the PLA Navy. China has set up a strong and professional aircraft carrier team since early 2000, when it decided to retrofit the Liaoning, and it hired many Ukrainian experts as technical advisors, the second source said. The sources also confirmed that the new vessel, the CV-18, will use a launch system that is more advanced than the Soviet-designed ski jump systems used in its other two aircraft carriers. Its electromagnetic aircraft launch system will mean less wear and tear on the planes, and it will allow more aircraft to be launched in a shorter time than other systems. China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation Chairman Hu Wenming in November told state broadcaster CCTV that China now had the expertise to build any type of aircraft carrier. He said a unit of 5,000 people from across the country had been formed to work on developing the country's aircraft carrier fleet. The latest aircraft carrier project has been in the pipeline for some time. Satellite images taken back in 2009 showed a huge frame had been installed at the Shanghai shipyard to accommodate large-scale projects. Sources said the layout of the new aircraft carrier, including its flight deck and island command center, would be different from the other existing two. The new vessel will have a smaller tower island than the Liaoning and its sister ship because it needs to accommodate China's carrier-based J-15 fighter jets, which are quite large, the first source said.